Alright, we're going to clean the pad just to see how much dirt came out. We don't have much water pressure here, so it's kind of a bad time to pick to try to do this. This place is... You can... Uh, but what I do is I just clean the pad, I flip it over on side, each side, over and over again until I don't see water running out of it that's dirty. And then I, uh, then I start squeezing it. I don't squeeze it at first. The pad was white when we brought it up here. It was, this is a new pad. It's only cleaned about five or six apartments. Yeah. It's pretty new. It's kind of hard. The color of the sink and the lighting we have in here, it's kind of hard to see. See the dirt? dirt? There's dirt. There's a lot of it, too. That living room, it picked up a lot of dirt. A lot of people ask, are you just spreading the dirt or are you getting dirt into the pad? Well, there you go. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of those things that's going to be debated, you know, forever. Yeah. But it works. And we do extract afterwards. And that... A lot of the reason we extract is because it saves us a lot of time from having to scrub the carpet over and over again, absorbing more and more stuff. And also because it makes people feel better generally if they see you extract it. And then that way you don't have to explain to people where the dirt goes. But these bonnets do absorb a lot of dirt. And if you keep cleaning them and putting them down, they'll get all the dirt out of your carpet. But it does take a few passes. To well, we, we fully believe in just bonnet cleaning, but it's too hard to sell on the customers. We, we don't want to argue with them. We just... If it makes them feel better to see an extractor, you know, the customer's basically always right. Yeah. Uh, so you just do what they yeah. ask. And he's about done with that. Yeah, the, th the thing that we figured out on doing a lot of this stuff, we just extract because the customer may sit there and agree with you that you're getting it all out with a bonnet. And they'll shake their head, yes, yes, I understand, he's cleaning it. But what will happen after you leave is they'll sit there and think about it a little bit and they'll decide, you know, I don't know if they really got everything out of my carpet they could have. And so what will happen is you got away with it and you got paid, and you didn't really pull anything on anybody because you did a good cleaning job. But if they don't believe you did that good a job, you're not gonna get called back again. And you'll never even know. You just never will go back. So what you have to do is do sometimes what the customer's gonna be happy with, and if they feel more comfortable watching you extract when you have done the bonnet part, maybe you should do that if it's not too much work for you. And the uh, truth is, when you bonnet thing, what you do is you go over the room like we already did, and then you want to put, get a clean bonnet, you want to go over it like three or four or five or six times even until you quit pulling dirt up. And So you may have to bonnet clean this room five times and you can, the way we do it, you can bonnet clean it once real good and then extract once real good and you're out of there. And that's actually faster. Yeah. So anyway, he's got that bonnet cleaned out. He's going to pre-spray now and then we'll start the video back up. Actually, we'll probably make two videos because it's going to be too lengthy. Uh, we may put it together. We may split it up and make two videos. You won't know until you see how we finally end up doing it. But anyway, stay tuned.